Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Uncle Tony's Viewpoint. Oh, first of all, uh, shout out to Tiffany. So, sorry I haven't updated in a while. I've been a little bit busy. We had some camera technical difficulties, we'll say. and uh, But now we seem to have things kind of rolling again. So, uh, uh, wanted to come out here and do a, a little quick vlog and see what's going on. So, I understand that uh, Serge the Hockey Guru is, uh, we're going to do a lot of air quotes today, so get used to it. If you don't like it, I don't care. So, uh, he apparently is going to boycott the NHL for one full year. He's boycotting the NHL for one full year. Um, if, if the Vegas Knights win the cup. Okay. He seems to be a little upset that they've gotten to the point that they've gotten having been here only for one year when he's been cheering for the Maple Leafs for what going on 35 plus years or so. Um, you know, he's having a fit that they other teams that have had superstar players that have had Hall of Famers on their teams that haven't made the uh, that haven't won the cup. Well, you hit it on the head, Serge. Superstar players and Hall of Flame, Fame players don't make a winning hockey team. Otherwise, ha, Gretzky, Lemieux, Waugh, every time they'd play, then they would win the cup. That didn't happen. And that's what the thing with the Vegas Knights. They're not a team of superstar players. Although I believe they're becoming superstars, all of them, including their fourth line, which seems to be producing like crazy. So that's the secret there, is that there isn't a superstar player. And the fact that they don't have a team captain is even, you know, alludes to that fact, that there's nobody better than somebody else here. A pro team has no captain on their team. They have, what is it, like something like six assistants, cap, assistant captains, because everybody's on an equal playing field. You're part of this team, go do something. Unlike these other ones, that, oh, you have this player, this player, so you should do well. Well, guess what? They didn't. So suck it up, Buttercup, and take your medicine. They haven't won because they suck. The Leafs suck. Ever since they expanded the, 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 uh, the league from six teams, the Leafs can't catch a break. Oh, poor babies can't catch a break, right? No. How about that they were just fortunate that there was six teams in the league that they could, you know, beat, or five teams that they could beat. Now with the expansion of all the teams, they can't seem to win. Uh, next year, we'll see how they do. This year, not so much. They need to rip off a few more uh, goatees there, uh, Kadri. Maybe we should start licking people, too. Um, the other thing, too, is the uh, Serge is also backing the Bolts or the Caps, whoever wins. Great. He's been backing the Leafs for the last 35-plus years, and they can't seem to win the Cup, so I guess that bodes well for Vegas if he's backing the Leafs and, or I'm sorry, the uh, the Lightning or the Caps, whichever team wins. Good job. That's a, that's a point uh, in, in Vegas' favor. Um, and what is this about the, the boycott? You're going to boycott the NHL for one full year, except for Maple Leafs games. Hmm. Or any game, or any, or any games that they are that they play against another team. So I have a question: What constitutes a non-NHL game? Because if the uh, Maple Leafs are playing another team, that's an NHL game. Um, unless you're only going to watch what home games, because then I guess you would say that's a Maple Leaf game, not really the away game. Um, but in any event, you're not boycotting crap. You're still watching the NHL just because you're watching the Maple Leafs play another NHL team. Unless you decide that the only team you're going to watch is Maple Leafs and you're going to watch like the, the practice team scrimmage. Then I would say you're boycotting the NHL except for uh, the Maple Leafs. Do they even televise the scrimmage games? Huh. Be interesting. So getting to my original title where I said that I, you know, that... Uh, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna not eat for one full year, just like Serge, boycotting the NHL for one full year. Well, then I'm not gonna eat for one full year if Vegas Golden Knights don't win the cup. That's right, I said it. You heard it right here, right now. The um, that the uh, Uncle Tony will not eat for one full year if the Vegas Knights do not win the cup, except for. I have to put caveats in there, just like the guru did. Except for, like, you know, if there's a party or something, then, then I'll eat. 
Or if my wife makes dinner, then, then I'll eat. Or, you know, holidays, I should probably eat then too, yeah. And then, like, you know, so I won't be boycotting the NHL, so if there's a hockey game on, I'll probably grab something to eat then too. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm pretty much gonna, gonna not eat uh, unless I'm hungry for the next year if, they, if, if the Vegas Knights don't win the cup. I think that's akin to, to uh, Serge's boycott of the NHL if they do win. Um, I think we're pretty on, on par there. Um, <laughs> come on, what are you doing? It's, it's just, you know, it's like your team. It's, it's just full of empty promises, that, that whole boycott. It's just like the Maple Leafs, full of empty promises. Um, and also, the hockey guru, Guru Shmuru. He, ha he got most of his picks wrong. He's been griping that the, the Kings, it's going to end. Or the Kings, I'm sorry, the Knights, it's going to end. It's going to end. It hasn't ended. So who did get this right? Let me see. He's six years old, pretty cute kid, and he said flat out, who's going to win the Stanley Cup? And what did he say? Who, who do you think is going to win the Cup of all the teams that are left? Vegas. That's right, he said it, the Vegas Golden Knights. The real hockey guru is Matteo, not Serge. I think Serge needs to hang up the microphone or just play cameraman and let Matteo pick the, the winners and losers of the next year's uh, NHL draft, the, the game, the season, the playoffs, everything. Because that six-year-old has more accuracy in his picks than the quote hockey guru who is again boycotting the NHL for one whole year if the Vegas Knights win the cup. Anyway, there's a dead horse and apparently we're beating the hell out of it. So that's all I got for tonight. We'll see what Serge boycotts tomorrow. Oh Lord forbid. He's probably going to give up water or breathing except for, you know, when he's starving for oxygen. Who knows? <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to try to link uh, his video in case you haven't seen it. Go over, take a, look, take a look at it on FHT Sports on YouTube. Take a look at his video so you know what I'm talking about if you don't already. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you don't, if you think that Serge has got a point. Um, Either way, let us know what you think. Let us know who you think is going to win and whether or not Vegas deserves to win the cup. I mean, they pretty much played their ass off all year and continue to win. Um, I think they deserve to win. Winners deserve to win. Losers, well, they deserve to go golf. All right, take care. We'll see you next time on, uh, on Uncle Tony's Viewpoint. Thanks for watching.